three, two, one. Action. How are you doing, Pierre? How's everything going? Nice to meet you, Howard. Right. Yeah, very good. Thank you. First of all, I just want to say congratulations on the film. Um, and obviously, a huge aspect of this film is, <laughs> like, especially coming at it from my end with a background in professional wrestling and, and film, uh, is the fact that John Cena is in the starring role. Um, but of course, an, another big aspect, having watched the film, is uh, the use of comedy and the humor throughout the whole narrative. Interestingly enough, uh, a few years ago, I had written an article it kind of exploring John Cena's like star image and his like his, his strengths as a performer. And one of the things I ha highlighted there was his use of comedy, be it in WWE or in film in recent years. The foundation for him seemed to be comedy. That seemed to be a base. And off of that, it kind of led to a great success for him. And one of the things in his initial run in Hollywood seemed to be that he was cast as more of a straight laced action hero and it kind of took away that strength of John as a performer. Now having worked with him and having seen works of him in the past, do, do you feel agree with that? Like that is almost like an essential ingredient, essential ingredient to, to, to John Cena. It is absolutely, you're absolutely right. I mean, yes, you, when you follow his career in the WWE he is, he is that you know, crazy physical guy, but he is hilarious. He is an absolutely is a natural born entertainer. He has this sense of timing, the sense of humor. He is, and I think it's it's very good because that's what makes him different from other action heroes. I would say it's like he has that comedic capacity that few others have because he's extremely smart because he has that sense of humor in real life. He, he is. I, I don't know any of the others uh, who could, who could pull that off. And uh, and his experiment. maybe he actually comes from from the wrestling because wrestling is in, is the ultimate show, right? And it's mm -hmm. so, it's a very well oiled machine, and it's, and things need to land at the right time. The time needs to be perfect, and each of the characters or each of the big stars of that have their own uh, life, and he learned a, a lot from that, I think. And he he transitioned to movies and used those skills in a very very talented way. Yeah, I mean, James Gunn said uh, he's the best improv actor he's ever seen, and that includes a lot of comedians. It would, did, did you see that on the set as well? Yeah, we 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 made the decision that we would not Im improvise during the take, but when the scene was over, the take was over, he would keep on ad libbing and 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 riffing and improvising. We had a few bloopers at the end of the movie, which you might have seen, yeah. but, but there was hours of those, and he's, he's, he was he could improvise on anything. Did any of that make it into the film, or was that just more fun? Maybe, set? Maybe, yeah, it's mostly the final phase. There's maybe a few moments when, yeah, he, he has that that little idea. It can be just a face expression that completely like makes the scene land. It is it's brilliant. Yeah. What, was there anything um, that particularly surprised you when it came to John? Like may, maybe there was things you knew going in, but having worked with him, that was particularly stood out to you. Well, because it was the first time we worked together, I, I didn't know what to expect. I had seen his previous work, yes, um, but I knew I was functioning. And I, again, it's, it's just it's just natural, it's natural. Yeah. So it's it's extremely pleasant. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's a, that's a high compliment as well. I mean, you've worked with such incredible talent in the past as well. You have Liam Neeson and Sean Penn and Idris Elba, and yeah. he's now slotted into that kind of category of, of uh, people. It will be even better, I'm sure. It's getting better, getting bigger. Incredible. And one of the things I really loved about the film, or like a particular sequence that I loved about the film, was the opening. Um, because it's... It's not often that you see a first person perspective, uh, yeah. especially right off the off the off the bat. And yeah. obviously it was led by John's narration. And it was so I found it really engaging and I found out I was it was it was a great hook for the film. Yeah, um, what leads to kind of that decision to film it in that style? Like is 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 the fact of like someone like John Cena carrying the narration uh, a part of that, or is it just just kind of what led to that decision? Because I thought it was really well done. It was an attempt to to uh, to engage the this, this the viewers into 
being that guy, you see things in his in his eyes, through his eyes. And only when you have his backstory, so you know what happened to him, what led him to the start of the movie, then you see him and you are a spectator of, of his life. It's it's I think it was a nice way to introduce his life and to give us the backstory without showing him and just by these little vignettes of his life seen through his eyes was i think very a nice way to engage into connecting with the character yeah and just my final question pierre obviously taken is such an iconic film in in your kind of a body of work um and it's it's, it's certainly a, a social media phenomenon as i'm sure you're aware um is there ever do you ever feel a pressure to like match that or i've got a surpass that or is it just kind of it's been done and it's not a factor anymore no it's been done it's not a factor anymore and i i, I always try not to do twice the same movie anyway so mm. that's, that's why i didn't do the sequels to take and that's why i didn't want to do the sequels to take him because you don't want then it's a challenge to be to to recreate the same emotional connections with the same ingredients that's yeah. tough so i I, oh, I just moved on i just moved on i'm trying to do something different every time yeah. Yes, it's the same components. Yes, it's always apart from this one, which is like pure comedic. The others are like you know more like drama driven and, and thrillers, and and but it's all about the the, the connection of the with, the with the characters anyway. So yeah. Yeah, it's just every every film is a different experience. Yeah, no, that's and that's fair, and I respect that decision as well to get to kind of move on. Thank you, thank you very much, Pierre. I really appreciate the time, and again, congratulations on the film, and I wish you all the best with it. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. Take care.